Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today we are going to be showcasing the newly Extremes the Awakened Fizz Full Power Broly uh, at Rainbow Status. And uh, of course, as always, before we get into the gameplay, I want to quickly go over his EZA details. So if you guys happen to already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead about a minute or so. So starting with the Super Saiyan Broly here, his leader skill is movie bosses or full power category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%. His super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage to all enemies. And his passive is key plus 6, attack and defense plus 150%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 120%, and launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack when facing only one enemy at the start of turn. And then, plus an additional attack and defense plus 150% and launches a guaranteed additional super attack when facing two or more enemies at the start of turn, transforms when conditions are met. So, as you can see, he is definitely better, at least in this form, uh, against multiple enemies like on Super Battle Road or World Tournament and so on and so forth, uh, because he does get the bigger boost and also a guaranteed super as opposed to a high chance of the additional super. And then once he transforms into full power Broly, which happens starting from the fourth turn from start of battle, his new super attack is raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage uh, while massively lowering the enemy's defense. And then passive is key plus eight attack and defense plus 200% launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack plus an additional attack plus 200% and defense plus 100% when facing only one enemy at the start of turn plus an additional attack and defense plus 120% when facing two or more enemies at the start of turn launches an additional attack starting from the turn in which the character performs the third super attack in battle so in this form he's actually better against single target as opposed to uh, multi-target but as far as his kit is concerned I think it makes a lot of sense because when you're uh, in like Super Battle Road or World Tournament generally speaking you're not lasting more than a couple of turns right per fight like in World Tournament for the most part if you have a good team you should only be you know taking one turn really to clear the entire enemy team right whereas in Super Battle Road you know, four turns is kind of the standard for each fight. So uh, when it comes to multi-target on those events, like Super Battle Road and stuff like that, uh, he's most likely going to stay in this form for the entire fight, or at least for most of the fight. Whereas in the longer events, like the one we're taking on right now, which is the GT Legendary Goku event, he'll get the transformation into full power Broly after turn four, and uh, then he'll be better against the single target, right? So... Um, I really like the way he works, and uh, yeah, with all that said, let's jump into the actual showcase. So, on this first turn, we're linked up with the AGL turret list, starting with 260k defense, which is quite good. That's pretty good. And let's just give this guy a couple of orbs, and let's see how much damage he can do. Keep in mind, of course, he is, in this form, a uh, attack all unit, right? So... The multiplier is only supreme as opposed to immense, but even with only a supreme damage multiplier, I would say that's a really good attack stat. <laughs> I would say considering his attack all, considering like think about, you know, in the context of Super Battle Road, a 5.5 mil attack stat attack all is actually a very, very powerful super in regular Super Battle Road. Um, he should come close to one-shotting everyone, basically. And if he doesn't one-shot, then he's still going to leave them mostly dead, right? Close to death. And then in Super Battle Road, I mean, I mean, sorry, uh, in World Tournament, um, he should basically be one-shotting. Yeah, he should be one-shotting. If not, then he still has that um, additional super, right? Which should clear out the entire team. So there was this discussion recently about whether Fizz Broly has now replaced the STR Broly as the best world tournament attacker, as the king of world tournament, if you will. And I'm not 100% sure about that yet. Like, I'm not ready to, you know, declare him to be the new world tournament king. But 
I think there's a real case to be made. I think um, if he isn't the best World Tournament attacker, he's definitely close. He's definitely close. And man, honestly, like right now, I haven't had a chance to test out World Tournament, right? But I kind of feel like he is better than SDR Broly just because of the key he's getting. And he's also just, you know, doing so much damage that like if he's even if he's facing an STR enemy, he should still be uh, clearing the entire enemy team with double supers, I think. We'll find out by the time the next World Tournament comes around, which should be soon for both sides since it's been a while. Um, there's the additional super, 6.6 .6 mil, and once again, it's an attack all super, and it's still doing really, really good damage for you know, single target, right? So he's still definitely usable against one enemy. It's just preferable to use him in an event with multi-enemies until you get that full power transformation. Okay, so in Broly, we would like to get multiple supers because of the stacking, which he's not getting, so that's awesome. I mean, he's getting multiple attacks, he's just not getting multiple supers, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be a fun rotation. Um, should we transform the cooler? I feel like we should leave him as is for now, just to stack some more defense, and also providing support, of course. Yeah, so, man, I would be surprised if the Super Saiyan 3 Goku somehow survives this rotation, because this is a scary rotation for him. Now, this might do a little bit of damage because of the type of advantage. 61k, okay. Not bad, but uh, yeah, if Cooler decides to go off here, if, if he decides to do like two or three supers, um, I think that's going to be it for this Super Saiyan 3 Goku fight. Yeah, that's going to do it. <laughs> that's going to do it. Yo, people sometimes forget, man, what the LRSTR Cooler is capable of because we've gotten so many broken releases since he came out but this guy is still crazy man this guy still puts in work okay so here is the full power broly transformation turn four very very early which uh, i like a lot and um should i test his tanking oh we shouldn't actually because we did take a super uh last time he was here right so his defense actually is much lower than it should be because we had it lowered by the goku's defense or sorry uh we had his defense lowered by the Goku Super, so definitely not a good time to test his tanking capabilities here. So we're going to put the Int Broly in the first slot, and then uh, we'll keep the Is Broly in the second slot just so he's safe there with the type of advantage and all that stuff. Um, yeah, Int Broly we know can tank quite well, so I'm not worried about him. But Fizz Broly, you know, with his defense lowered, definitely could in some trouble here if the uh you know great ape decided to super him so yeah see this would have been bad for us but it's not too bad with int broly okay so first super from fizz broly nine mil we like to see that just over nine mil second super second super give me one more ah, damn it okay so only one super that turn. I was kind of hoping that we could just get the three supers out of the way, you know, with the first appearance so that we just get guaranteed additional supers for the rest of the way. But that's not how life works. So it's all good. It's all good. Okay. Um, yeah, I think LR Cooler is going to be okay in that first slot. I'm just hoping we don't get supered immediately because if we do, then... That would suck, but if he doesn't super us immediately, we should be fine. Yeah, we are fine. 13.6 mil. <laughs> That's just wild, man. And the thing is, he can launch like five supers. It's rare, but he can launch five supers. So if he does something like that, um, which he doesn't do there. Okay, one super is actually kind of rare. Only a single super. Usually it's at least two. It doesn't matter though. We're here to showcase the Broly. We're here to showcase the Broly. Gotta keep that in mind. 
Okay, so now we're on the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Fizz Broly is about to feast. Yeah, about to absolutely feast on the Fizz Broly. Sorry, uh, on the Int Goku. And of course, no item necessary here. Let's see what he can do. So obviously tanking a normal for 88 damage. No surprise there. Super attack without the support this time. We lost the support from um, the Garlic Jr. Okay, 6.6 mil crit. Come on, give me additional super. Dude, why? <laughs> Okay, so he doesn't really feel like showing out today for some reason, which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, even the other Broly is at least giving us one additional super, you know what I mean? So, yeah, not the best RNG in this showcase um, for the Fizz Broly, because uh, I think in most runs, uh, he would have been able to get that guaranteed additional super by now, but because we just haven't really been able to get those additional supers uh he isn't really at his full potential i guess but uh we'll get there we'll get there not a huge deal okay um we could pop the active skill but i'm not gonna do that just because we're not really here to showcase these guys right so let's just uh yeah let them do their thing i mean if we don't pop the active skill uh the coolers are still gonna you know, they're, they're still going to do some damage. A lot of damage, actually. I expect uh, LR Cooler to really one-shot the Super Saiyan 4 Goku here. Yeah, 6.16.9. <laughs> 60. Maybe I shouldn't have brought these guys. But I kind of had to. I kind of had to for the 200% leader skill, right? So it wasn't really a choice, honestly. But they're um, kind of showing up the... Is Broly here, which uh, is a little bit unfortunate. Okay, 279k defense. Uh, we will leave him in the first slot. Keep in mind that he will take a lot of damage, most likely, if he gets supered first before we get to attack and raise our defense. But the normals are, 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 are being tanked quite well. Okay, that's good to see. Okay, so 9 mil per super. We should see at least two supers, possibly a third. That would be great. There's one. There's two. 9.4. Just give me all the supers, man. Give me all the supers. I want to see all the supers. Give me three. There's three. 9.8. Okay, one more. One more. Oh my god, yo. This mic stand is so wobbly, man. We're good, though. Okay, one more. One more. And there's a fourth, 10.2. Okay, so all of the um, additional supers we were missing before apparently all decided to show up on this turn. So that was pretty crazy. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. And maybe we can just finish off Super Saiyan 4 Goku here. Just uh, get like an additional super here from the Int Broly as well. And that would do it. Or a normal could do it too, actually. No? Okay. Okay, well, either way, that's going to do it for this showcase, guys. Um, I think that Broly is really, really impressive in a different way from... Oh, God. Man, I didn't realize how many attacks there were at the end. Okay, we're, 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 we're chilling, we're chilling, but dude, if uh, we had taken a super there, that might have been it. Like, that might have been game over for us. So luckily, we didn't take a super, and since there's no way we're going to make it back to the Fizz Broly, I'm going to pop the active skill for the Final Form Cooler, because why not? Because we can. And uh, yeah, as I was saying before, I think that the Broly is just as impressive as the... AGL Gogeta just in a different way because you know even though we're facing single target here I can extrapolate from the attack stat that we see here that he's gonna be so good so so good in Super Battle Road Extreme Super Battle Road and uh, World Tournament so he definitely has uh, some more utility in that sense because 
of his ability to just dominate in those events, right? And still be good in single target events. But of course, when it comes to single target, I would take Gogeta over the Broly because um, Gogeta's just damage output is crazy. Gogeta's dodging is very clutch. So yeah, overall, I think Gogeta's better. <laughs> just to be clear, I think Gogeta's better. But Viz Broly is definitely a monster in his own right. And uh, man, I just want to go back to what I was saying before, like in the in the Gogeta showcase. Um, I kind of underrated these guys. I kind of underrated these guys. I had the impression that they were good, quite good, but not, you know, broken, not crazy by any means. Like I wasn't like crazy impressed by their details or anything like that, but I really should have been, man. I really should have been crazy impressed by their details because these guys are just, they're, they're insane <laughs> they're insane that's all i can really say so um yeah let me know in the comments what you guys think about these two extremes the awakenings which one do you think is better like i said in my opinion it's still gogeta but broly man has been really really fun to use and uh he's gonna be really good for you on uh, any attack all stage but also in single target stages you can definitely use him and uh get some very good results so uh, yeah, that is the Fizz Full Power Broly Showcase, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.